Good morning, GV8. Mr. Ruley here with today's edition of Storytime. And once again, we're going to be continuing with Book 14 of Dragon Masters, uh, Land of the Spring Dragon. We're going to get into Chapters 5 and 6 today, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Remember, last time we read, <clears throat> Bree and Drake were going into the forest to find the spring dragon. And, of course, they ran into a group of gnomes called the Redcaps. And, you know, in this chapter, we're going to meet the red caps and they're going to go further into the forest. And so really the question I have for us today here is, as we meet the red caps and look at what they're doing, do you think they're trying to help? Ask yourself that as we read. Chapter five, the red caps. I think these fairies want to help me, Drake thought. He was about to take a step forward, then red cap, uh, he was about to take a step toward the red caps when he stopped and turned to Breen. I guess you won't tell me if we should follow them or not, he said. No, I can't, Breen said. That would be cheating. But can you tell me something about them? Drake asked. Breen twirled a finger around one of her curls. I guess so. What do you want to know? Well, what kind of fairies are they? Drake asked. Are they nice? They mostly like to march around, she answered. But they do also like to have fun with humans who visit here. All right. Hmm, Drake said. What kind of fun? You are asking too many questions, Drake, Breen said. Choose a path. The Redcaps had already begun to march away. Wait for us, Drake called out. He ran to catch up with the fairies. Breen followed him. So there we have Drake. I guess they're calling him fairies. To me, those are little garden gnome kind of guys. I love garden gnomes. They always make me smile. The Redcaps marched into the woods. Here we go, marching on and on, here and there, over and yon, they repeated. They marched and marched. Drake kept expecting to reach the end of the woods, but they never did. I think we're going in circles, he said. You are right, Breen agreed. She pointed to a tree with a twisted trunk. We have passed by this tree three times. Here we go, marching on and on, here and there, over and yon, sang the Redcaps. Drake frowned. I guess we should have followed them. I guess we shouldn't have followed them, he said. Let's go back to the other path. Drake tried to turn around, but he couldn't. His body swung forward and kept marching behind the redcaps. His legs were moving all on their own. Hey, Drake yelled. Are the redcaps using some kind of fairy magic? He wondered. Drake couldn't slow down or change direction. Behind him, Breen was marching too. They couldn't stop. Uh-oh, so you think the red caps are trying to help? <clears throat> Drake made his legs move faster. He caught up to the red cap at the end of the line and tapped him on the shoulder. Uh, excuse me, he said. But we would like to stop following you now, please. We need to find Fallon and save my kingdom. The red cap stopped marching. They all turned around and looked at Drake. But you must keep following us, said one. We're having too much fun, said another. Yes, said a third, going round and round is such a good time. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for games, Drake said. My kingdom needs help. Sorry, one of them said. We can't let you go. You have to let us go sometime, Drake said. How long do you want to keep playing for anyway? The red caps all answered him at once. Forever! Oh, but look at those smiling faces. <laughs> a little creepy when you put it like that, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Now we jump in to chapter six. Now look at my, look at my note here. All right, so let's pay atten close attention to what Drake and Bree do to try to get away from them. And then I want you to really think, what does this show about their character? What do you now know about Drake and Bree based on what they do in this chapter? Let's check that out. All right, chapter six, a trick. The fairies smiled up at Drake. You want me to march with you forever? You can't make me do that, Drake said. His legs were still moving, marching in place. Yes, we can, one of the red caps said cheerfully. Then they all spun around and began to march again. Drake's legs followed them. Here we go, marching on and on, here and there, over and yon. Drake looked at Breen. You could have warned me about the red caps, he said. I did, she replied. I told you they liked to have fun. Well, this isn't fun, Drake complained. 
Green Shrugged. It's fun for them. Now, that's kind of an interesting point right there. So the fairies, right? The red caps are having fun, but is everybody having fun? And if everybody isn't having fun, is it okay what they're doing? I think it's important for everyone to be able to have fun. Yes, we need to include everybody, but we also need to make sure that everyone is having fun. All right, Drake marched along the path thinking, oh, I need to find a way to get these red caps to let us go. But all I know about them is that they like to have fun. Fun, Drake repeated the word in his mind. Back home, the younger kids always wanted to pull him away from the field to play games. Games like sticks and stones, hop and skip, hide and seek. Drake, ch Drake tapped the nearest red cap again, and the fairies all stopped marching. What is it? The red cap asked. All right, what do you think they're going to do? Well, let's see. I know a game we can play, he said. It's more fun than marching. <gasps> the red cap's eyes lit up. More fun? What is it called? It's called hide and seek, Drake replied. You close your eyes and count. Breen and I will hide. When you open them, you have to find us. Ooh, that does sound like fun, said the red cap. What happens after we find you? Well, then it's your turn to hide, Drake said. The red caps all huddled together. They whispered to one another. Then they turned back to Drake. We will play your game, they said at once. Great, Drake said. First, you have to release your magical hold on us so we can hide properly. Ooh, that's pretty smart. Done, the red cap said, snapping their fingers. Drake tested it. He turned and took a step. My idea is working, he thought. He turned back to the red caps. Perfect. One of the red caps nodded. Now we close our eyes and count, right? Yes, Drake said. Oh, what's the frustrating picture? Can't forget the pictures. Let's get a close look at these little guys here. I love how they're all huddled. And they all speak at once, like one person. All right, there we go. The red caps all closed their eyes. One red cap opened his. How high do we count? 10,623, Drake replied. Okay, the red cap said, and he closed his eyes. Then all the fairies began to count. One, two, three. It's going to take them a long time to get to 10,623, I believe. Drake motioned for Breen to follow him. They hurried back to, to the fork in the path, away from the red caps. All right. Well, that is our story for today. I will pick up with chapters 7 and 8 next time. Have a good day, folks.